let's say you had a uh, basketball team starting five who, and it's all like person film, so you got your Gary yeah. Bees, Tony Robbins, who's your, who's your first five? <sighs> you know, look, that's a good question. So I, I would, I would, Jules, I would go with probably, probably Tony Robbins at the start because I, I think he can get the best out of everyone. I just truly believe that. I think his talent is, well, you can see 40 years like at, at the top, you know, and, and to see where he's come from, um, I, I believe he'd be the leader. I, I, I believe he's the Michael Jordan of the team. I definitely have uh, Gary V on the side because I just know he's going to go all day. He, do he doesn't want to lose. And I know that he's going to have your back all the way through. I definitely have someone um, like Andy Frazella because he's just going to tell you, he's going to tell you to your face whether you're putting in or not. Um, I definitely, I definitely have Grant Cardone there because, I, again, I think he's relentless and I think he just keeps pushing um, and the age barrier is uh, just the number for him. And, and the, the third, I guess the fifth one's going to be a tough one. I, I, there's two guys I really like listening to, Zed Milet and, um, and, and the real Brad Lee. And, and, I, and, and I really like both of them. So I, I definitely, you know, it'd be a cost of a twine, uh, coin there. So. Put yourself in there. Well, I, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to have to be in there too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, and that's a great question because I, I think, you know, like listening to those types of podcasts, I get a lot of confidence from, from listening to those guys. Um, and, and to be perfectly honest, you know, th there was a lot of things I was executing in my life. What those guys made me realize is that they were just like anyone else. Um, and, and, and they just, they just stuck to what they totally believed in and they knew they were going to be special at one point in their lives. And, and they pushed really hard and just, um, you know, fulfilling their full potential. And, and, and I think potential is limitless and I think they see it the same way. And, and they would definitely, yeah. Look, look, there's about five or six guys I, I just rattled off there. So if I was to take um, one out, uh, so, so let's say I said Anthony Robbins, Gary V, Andy Frizzella, Grant Cardone, and then me, that's five. So that's the side. What do you think is most unique about Titan Fitness? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where we beat any fitness center in the world. And I'm gonna be honest, look, I, I believe we beat any fitness center in the world. I believe our team and the way our culture is, they care more about each individual than anyone else anywhere else. You know, when you come here, you get the service beyond and above. I get stopped all the time by members about the staff, all the time. And that's massive, you know, and I get stopped about our podcasts, I get stopped about our videos, our content. We get um, messages from local businesses about our content. And if we come there and, and, um, and, and talk about their content as well. So, and, but this is the thing. I don't even think we've, we've, we've scraped the surface of our full potential of each individual. I think this year you're gonna see a massive spike in the type of service people get. It's because our team, they're real professionals. I'm gonna be honest with you. you know, from the way they train, the way they look, the way they represent themselves, and the results they get for people, man. Like, they, they go beyond and above for every member. Like, that's incredible. Not only that, like most gyms, most receptionists, our team does everything. They do classes, they do boot camps, they're receptionists, they're sales, they do everything. They don't, they don't do one thing. And I was just talking about problems. They deal with member problems and they give them solutions and results. That's why I know our service beats any fitness centers anywhere around the world. So culture is very important to Simon Fitness. Um, when someone comes in and asks for a job or you're looking to hire someone, what, yeah. do you, what, what values do you look for? Man, I, I look for someone that's just going to put in more effort than they've ever put in anywhere else. I mean, when you come here, it's, it's not about you. It's, it's about the team and it's about the people. So if you can come in there with that mindset, you're going to be successful here. It's not about your credentials. We can, we can help you with that. We can train you up. It's about how much work you're gonna put in for the person next to you, to the left and to the right of you, and then to the members. So that's why the culture is so good because we didn't have the most experienced team. When they came here, I just said, this is how I work. This is what I do. I vacuum, I do video content, I help members, 
I do absolutely everything in the business. And so when, when, when you as a leader are doing that, the team is going to begin to jump on board. But what's my success rate on hiring people? It's, it's not the best. Because I believe in people so much that sometimes it isn't the best. But I'm getting so much better at now I tell people what the business is about and just how hard we work. And when you tell them that, um, they're either going to take the job or they're not going to take the job. So I'm, I'm getting better at that. Um, and, and that's why I think we've got a really good team. We've got a really low um, uh, rate of people leaving. So, you know, we, that's a big thing. We, our, our team uh, sticks around for a long time. And it's because they love the culture and they love the people and they lo love working alongside each other. Guys, if you guys have any questions about, you know, how we run the business and what we do here at Titan Fitness, please send us a message because, you know, we're more than happy to tell you exactly what we do and the amount of effort and time we put in. And that's what it comes down to. It comes down to how much time and effort you put into each team member and understanding what their fears are, what their vulnerabilities are, and that we're all the same. We're no different from one another.